hello everybody, it's Fiona here. I hope you're all well. Just want to welcome you to the second Woe You Pack. Um, this time it's really exciting. We're bringing back Kelly, who previously has led some sessions for us. She led a um, paper making session and also the really fabulous flower making, um, paper flower making that was really popular and really successful. So we're really pleased to have Kelly back with us. Um, for this week's pack. Hi Kelly, it's really great to have you back with us. Um, just interested in how you came up with the idea for this pack and if you could tell us a little bit about the pack as well, that would be brilliant. Hi everybody, uh, glad to be back. Um, I decided to choose Mandela for you all to have a go at based on, uh, I'm finding it really difficult in isolation and um, I started a portrait using pointillism and I found it really therapeutic. So Mandela has the same technique as pointillism. It involves using a lot of dots. So that's sort of, that's sort of where the idea comes from. So Mandela's were originally produced and created by the Buddhist faith. Then it uh, went to Tibet, India, Naples, China, Japan, Bhutan and Indonesia. And it dates back right to the fourth century. So I'm going to go through the packs with you of everything you should have in your bag. So you should have a wooden pebble, some stencils, a paintbrush, Mandela tool, some black card and some paint. And you should also have in there a set of instructions and a couple of sheets of different designs. So first of all, I'm gonna to talk to you about the paint. So when I was sorting your paint out, it did, it did seem really thick. So if you wanna test it out on your black card first, the consistency of the paint, using your Mandela tool, just dip it in and have a couple of goes at doing a couple of dots. If it seems thick, then just add a bit of water, but you won't need a lot of water. Um, just a tiny little bit just to water it down a little and uh, then what you'll need to do is um, whilst you're having a practice on your card just have a get yourself a covering on your stone that can be any color you want so generally I, I use black but I've tried it out with white yesterday and I think it picks up the colors a lot better on the white when you're starting, it should already actually say actually on your instructions, but when you're starting, you want to start up right in the centre of your pebble. So like here, so you put your first dot and then you'll put your other dots at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock and then just work around in between them. And then just carry on going out and as you're going out, as you can see on this one, you just go bigger and bigger as you're going out. And then once they're dry, you just come back to them and just add further dots and that will give you the intricate detail of a, of a traditional Mandela t uh, stone. So that's about it. So if you want to have a go at your pebbles and if you have any problems, you can just message me on the group chat and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. But I hope you all enjoy the activity and be creative. Bye everyone. Thank you, Kelly. That was brilliant. I really enjoyed watching the instructions for the Mandela pack. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody's results and your creations. So as always, please um, share them with us on Facebook or WhatsApp um, so we can all have a look at your designs. Also this week, um, you'll see that we've ha included it in our Were You In Packs. There's a care package in there. These have been donated to us at Arts in the Yard, so we thought we would just share them with you. A little gift for you there. So that's it, I think, for um, this pack. So looking forward to seeing your results. I hope you're all well. Stay safe, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>